Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Mango Sun here bringing you a Remnant 2 video and today we're going to be going over a near and dear build to my heart which is the Loaded Peacekeeper build. The Loaded Peacekeeper build brings two things together which is the Gunslinger and the Medic class. Now this build has been tested in the Nightmare difficulty so you can guarantee that playing this build with the right little setup you can go into Nightmare content. You can pause what the Gunslinger brings to the table if you know what the Gunslinger brings to the table. I'm going to tell you what the Gunslinger brings to the table and that's going to put legs under the main gun that we're using today which is the merciless now the merciless is a weird little gun to use as it shoots these fletchets out instead of like standard bullets right so it has some travel time to it and a little bit of an arc when it shoots now another unique thing about the merciless is that it the fletches apply a uh, in this build the 2250 uh, bleeding damage over 20 seconds and we can use bloodline when we want to but let, let me explain what the fletchets do and how they kind of activate so when you look at the reticle and you start to shoot around about 18 bullets is when the teeth in the reticle start to clamp down now when the teeth of the reticle start to clamp down that is when it's going to start applying that bleed now without the teeth being fully clamped down while you're shooting the gun then the bleed isn't going to truly start coming from the gun until then now like i said around 18 bullets and that's what you're going to get to get those teeth all the way clamped down this is going to make quick work of thick skin and hardy bosses or bosses that try to drain your energy or reheal when you use your um relic so you're going to be constantly applying bleed and burn to the target and burn comes from the star blast now the star blast has the big bang and it's just had a big massive explosion and somewhere in the video there's going to be on the right hand side of the screen it's going to be my traits and how they allocate it but i do have the aoe area up to uh plus 50 percent and we don't want to do this to our character with such a big radial explosion if you want to take away that aoe you potentially can and put that somewhere else in your build. Now the bullet storm archetype skill for the gunslinger is going to provide us with increased reload speed, increased uh, range for the firearms. It's going to bring a lot of things to the table to mitigate and just completely negate Merciless's long reload speeds. Now again you can pause the video to see what the medic brings to the table but we're using it for the grant 25% increased damage to all damage and the 5% crit chance and with the passive increase to healing along with getting that shield we're using our medic skill. Now now being in apocalypse mode and putting out damage is good but survivability is always key just in case you do get hit and you probably will get hit and that's where the tranquil heart comes into play because it has a passive 2.3 health uh, regeneration per second and then when you actually use it it doubles all healing so our medic's going to give us healing the tranquil heart's going to give us healing and when we use it we get double the amount of healing now Putting this build all together, we're going to start with the Energized Neck Coil, and this increases status effect damage by 25%. Applying a damaging status effect creates a uh, 5 meter explosion for 20% of the status effect's full damage. So any and all things around it are going to take that bleed, that burn damage that we put out. Now the Amber Moonstone saves us when our health drops below 30%, all incoming damage is reduced by 25%, and the word becomes immune to temporary status effects. So just in case you burn yourself and you drop below 30% health, you're gonna be immune to that burn effect uh, for that little bit of time. Now the Ring of Crisis, when the wear self drops below 25%, gaining shield for 25% of max health lasts 10 seconds. This is interchangeable with the Black Cat Ring if you want to change it out for that. Now the Timekeeper's Jewel increases the duration of all stats Status effects applied by the wear duration varies per status now we're gonna see that the bleed lasts for 20 seconds instead of 10 we're gonna see that the burns last for 20 seconds instead of 10 and with those double stacked on top of the uh, target we're gonna cause some massive massive damage over time and the sapphire dreamstone ring just critical hits reduce our skill cooldowns giving us access to our medic shield and our gunslinger trait respectively now if you guys did enjoy the remnant 2 video and the way I broke down the build in this quick little succession then go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button as more remnant 2 content will be coming to you i like to thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one